everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Aji. I'm very excited about today's video because this is a yes style haul. This is a pastel clothing haul. I'm keen put it lightly. So some of you guys might know, but for those of you that don't, YesStyle gives me a 500 US dollar budget to spend on their website every month in exchange for making a video. So I don't have to pay for this clothing, I get it from them for free. And every month I try to think of a different theme. So I've done a shoe haul, prom dress haul, wedding dress haul, a green haul, the green haul part two is coming, I promise, it'll be up next week. And uh, today's video is exclusively pastel themed. I have a selection of short sleeve tops, long sleeve cardigans, dresses, and a couple of accessories too. I know you guys love these Yes Style try on hauls, and I'm pretty sure that you're going to love the clothes that I picked today. So without any more talk, let's jump into it. We're gonna start off nice and simple with this little white top. It looks like a pirate top. Looks like something I could wear as a pirate cosplay. This is looking a little bit cheap with this uh, loose thread just there. It feels like very thin fabric too. So um, this is probably gonna be quite sheer, but I do like how puffy the sleeves are. They look very structured. and also without loose threads, that'd be great. I personally love this neckline. I love any sort of squared off neckline. <laughs> it's very short as a crop top. Sometimes crop tops will come down, you know, kind of toward the belly button. This is quite short. My bra is just, just underneath this. It's quite stretchy. It's got a lot of stretch in this area here and also heaps of stretch in the sleeves too. So size is quite flexible. Ow! I guess it does look like the top from the photos, but you know, having received it, don't know if I'd really recommend this one too much to you, just given the quality. It feels quite poorly made, but I know that things that are coming up are going to redeem this video. So this one, we'll give this one a pass. The next top is a very similar style. It's got the same sort of neckline and the same sorts of sleeves, but it's got little drawstrings. This one is made much better than the one that I'm wearing. This doesn't have any loose threads on it at all. It's a very nice material too. Doesn't look too sheer. Very soft material. And obviously, because it's green, it's instantly the best thing in this video. Alrighty, so I don't know if this one is supposed to be worn on the shoulder or off the shoulder. I have it off the shoulder at the moment. On the shoulder, see, on the shoulder makes it look a little bit, I don't know, it kind of squashes out the sleeves a little bit. The one that I was just in, the white one, when it was on the shoulder, the sleeves kind of held their shape really well. But when this goes on the shoulder, the sleeves kind of flatten out a bit. So I actually prefer it off. Now this one has a zip on the side, so it does hug your figure quite nicely. It's not as cropped as what the other one was. The other one was quite an extreme crop. Obviously because this one has the drawstrings, it's very flexible whether or not you wear it lower on your waist or higher. I think it looks so pretty with these little drawstrings like this. This is, oh, this is such a flattering top. I love it so much. Do you like it, buddy? What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, 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 I think he likes it a little bit too much. That's, oh no, no. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, sorry, that wasn't an invitation. That wasn't an invitation. How about you take your hormones over there? I love the way that the waist area looks in this. It's so pretty with the lines. Uh-oh. This is a really flattering cut. This is made so nicely. I'm really, really happy with this one. This one has redeemed the fail of the previous one. Next up, this top is very Brandy Melville to me, except a thousand times cheaper. This one has little ties on the side, which means, again, like this sort of style, you can kind of adjust it to fit your waistline depending where you want to wear it. The color, perfect color. My favorite color. I don't trust you. It's a... Uh, Springtime in Australia. Do you know what that means? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, Archie's uh, having a time out. So, this top, I love this so much. Like I said, quality, this feels just like something that I bought at Brandy Melville. You would not be disappointed in the slightest if you got this one. This is so cozy, it's super, super soft. It's like a very thin ribbed fabric. I really love the way that it looks with this tie up on the side. Any clothing that ties up anywhere like that, 
drawstring. I just think it's so pretty. I love the way that it sort of bunches up and you get all those nice little details. The shade of this too is really, really cute. Like I said, I love that the height is adjustable. If I untie these, that's how low down that you can bring it. So it just touches my belly button. So fully flexible if you want to show more skin or less skin. It's a versatile top. It's got a nice neckline, nice cute little sleeves. This one is one of my favorite things. All right, there's also this top, which is a very similar style to two of the others we looked at before. It's got the same puffy sleeves, the squared off neckline. It's super, super stretchy. So this again should have quite versatile sizing. The buttons on the front are fake buttons. They're just sewn on purely for decoration. I would have liked it if they were functional buttons. I love the gingham print. It looks like a pastel picnic rug. Okay, so these sleeves are teeny tiny. They're really, really small, despite having the elastic in them. I don't think that they want to be worn up like this. I'm pretty sure that they want to be worn off the shoulder like that because they just aren't sitting properly up here. So as soon as you put them off the shoulder, they feel way more comfortable. Despite how cute the top is, my criticism of it is that it feels very cheap. I believe it's it's kind of like linen. I don't think it's actually linen. It's like a cheaper version of linen. There's a few loose threads on the fake buttons and just the overall thing, even though it looks quite nice from a distance, up close, it's not really very impressive. It's a cheap piece of clothing and that reflects in the craftsmanship. This one, on the other hand, that was made so nicely. This felt beautiful and expensive, but this one, this feels cheap. It is cheap and it feels cheap. So if you like the pastel picnic rug aesthetic, then you probably would be a fan. But if you're looking for quality instead, go for something more like this one. All right, next up is a pearl button cardigan. Now, if you guys saw my latest ASOS haul, the very last cardigan that I showed was a blue cardigan with pearl buttons. Now, um, that's what I thought this one was going to be, but this one turned up and the buttons don't go all the way down to the bottom. Now, the thing was that in the pictures, I, I just naively assumed that it went all the way down. I didn't think that it would stop halfway. When I compare this to that one I got from ASOS, if you held them side by side, you would know that this one is cheaper. This one has some sort of uneven stitching along here. It's got a lot of loose threads here too. There's also some loose threads where the sleeves connect at the back. So it's not very high quality, but that being said, the one I got from ASOS was 60 Australian dollars. This is a lot cheaper, but the buttons don't go all the way down to the bottom. So can't really win, can you? Okay, so the ASOS cardigan felt really, really warm and cozy. This one, it feels cozy because it's very soft, but it doesn't feel warm at all. I'm actually kind of cold standing here. The air conditioning is making me cold and this isn't doing anything to help me warm up. I think that the fabric just isn't knitted as tightly as what the ASOS one was. So the ASOS one really trapped the heat. This one is letting the heat escape and it's very, very cold. Some of you guys might actually prefer that the buttons don't go all the way down. Oh. has thumb holes, except my arms are too long. Ugh. I love thumb holes. I mean, I, I know, yes, you can just put a hole in any sleeve and make a thumb hole. I know because I've done that many, many times in the past, but then it tends to kind of tear. I think this part here might actually start to tear because it's not reinforced around the thumb holes. Also, now that my thumbs are in the thumb holes, the top isn't sitting at the right height, and it's not sitting right around here. Look. Trying to adjust it a little bit doesn't really help. So with the length of my arms, I can't actually put my thumbs in these thumb holes. But then when I don't have my thumbs in the thumb holes, it just looks like I have holes in my sleeves. I will say this, guys. In the ASOS video, I wasn't wearing a push-up bra or anything like that. I'm wearing one today, and what a difference it makes. <laughs> This is a Victoria's Secret bra. Yeah. This top, if you have long arms, and if you want the buttons to go all the way down the front, I don't recommend it at all. Maybe if you've got shorter arms, and you really like the look of that other style of cardigan, but you can't quite afford it from that brand from ASOS, you could always go for this one. I like this color a lot more than I liked the color of the ASOS cardigan. The ASOS cardigan was still a beautiful blue. I did love it, but this is more of a pastel blue. So I do like this shade a little bit more. There's just, there's pros and there's cons. So can't say I recommend it entirely, but if you like it, if you think that it looks quite nice on me and you don't mind the weird thumb hole situation, then maybe you would love this one. Now, speaking of blue cardigans, 
Here's another one. This is the type of cardigan that ties up at the front. It's just got a very simple tie. Now I've seen some DIY projects where you can get like a sweater or something and you can cut it down the front and then just add in some little ties, which is very cute. It's a nice style. I see a lot of girls on Instagram wearing clothes like this. Mm, I don't know if I can entirely pull this off just because of this area here. I. A lot of the girls that I see wearing this look quite filled out and it just sits very nicely on them. I feel like this is kind of gonna gape open on me a little bit. Let's have a look. Standing like this, not looking too bad, huh? Standing like this. Hmm. So, obviously, we have a little bit of a problem. Now, you don't have to wear this with nothing underneath. In the pictures, the model was wearing this with nothing underneath and she looked great, but if I do that, I'm not really loving it. <laughs> it just looks kind of silly. Not kind of silly, just like really, really silly. <laughs> My mother would scream if I left the house dressed like this. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just don't think that I have the shape to pull it off. I just, I just don't. I love this style and I've loved it because of all the beautiful girls I've seen wearing it on Instagram. But, you know, now that I've received it, it's just not right for me. Not everything is gonna suit every body. You know, you're often gonna see things online that you think look great and then you receive them and then you don't feel great wearing it. It's nothing about you or your body. It's not that your body isn't right or your body's not as good as the person in the pictures. It's just that certain clothing suits certain body shapes and certain sizes in the chest and things like that. And um, I, I can't rock this without anything underneath. But if I was wearing something underneath this, you know, like a, a little mini dress or something, It'd be totally fine. I wouldn't have a single complaint. So if you're just looking for something like a nice springtime cardigan to put on over like a strapless dress, I do think you'd really, really like this because this is really lovely soft material. It's so comfortable. The sleeves are also a really nice length too, not like that other one. The sleeves are way too short. These sleeves are lovely and long. This is a beautiful shade of blue. I adore it. And it comes in other colors too. So I did also pick it up in pink. Before I change into the pink one, I want to show you some bags because I did get these cute bags in pink and blue. So I figure with the blue cardigan, I can wear the pink bag. So these bags, these are unusual. These feel gorgeous. This is a faux leather. It's really, really soft, like incredibly soft. They actually uh, have these really sturdy, I don't know, what do you call this? This is metal here and you pull it, and it pops open and this is very very heavy and very thick it's got these really hardcore heavy kind of hinges on it too don't want to get your fingers stuck in there now i believe that these bags are a copy of um how do i say it bottega veneta bottega venetia bottega bottega veneta why are luxury brands always so hard to pronounce? These were pretty expensive. Really quite expensive, actually. This is where the bulk of the expense of this haul came from. You know, this is a 500 US dollar haul, and uh, there's not a huge amount of clothing because these were so expensive. But these are gorgeous. They're so big. Like, this this would fit, look, it doesn't quite fit my head because the uh, metal just doesn't expand wide enough, but the inside of it would fit my head. It's like a Hermione Granger bottomless bag. It just goes on and on and on forever. Now obviously it doesn't have a strap, so you can't wear it over the shoulder or anything like that. And also there's nothing on the inside where you could attach a strap. This is supposed to be a clutch. Kind of have to, I guess, just hold it. How do you fashionably hold a clutch? Like a fan? Ha! Ha! I figured it out. Like this. Like this. Like a little baby. Just hold it like a little baby. It's as soft as a baby. No, really, this is so soft. I, I actually quite enjoy this look. It's not bad at all. This is very cute. Oh, hmm, hmm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yes, queen, yes. Okay, I think I prefer the pink cardigan to the blue one because this shade of pink is delicious. I just, oh, I love it so much. It's beautiful. Now, pairing the pink with the blue bag this time. This blue bag does remind me a lot of the Cookie Monster. So I prefer the pink cardigan to the blue one. And I also prefer the pink bag to the blue one. I think that this blue, it just, it's a little bit too greyish looking for me. The pink just looks nice and soft and supple, I guess. These are like some of my favorite bags now. I'm so excited to start wearing these. Might be a little bit inconvenient because they don't have a strap. So you just kind of have to carry it all the time. But I don't mind because it's so stylish. And you know, we struggle for fashion. Okay, so um, this dress is 
confusing and completely incompetent at lacing anything. But I got it done. So this dress isn't exactly what I'd hoped for. So the problem is that in the pictures, the model was wearing it off the shoulder. Uh, and then she was also wearing it on the shoulder in some, off the shoulder in other pictures. But when you wear it off the shoulder, at least for me, it's falling down like this. So you can see the inner lining of it. It should really be sitting like this and this should be sitting here. The problem is this part doesn't have any elastic in it. This upper part of the sleeve, no elastic. The lower part does have it. So obviously the lower part will sit wherever you want it to, but the upper part just flops down. Very upsetting. So if I try and wear it on the shoulder like this, again, like I said, there's no elastic up here to keep it up. So it might stay up for a minute, but then it'll just fall straight back down. So that's annoying. And I will have to sew some elastic in there because aside from that, I actually quite like the dress. This has drawstrings at the bottom of it here, which are really cute because you can adjust the length. I've just tucked it up just ever so slightly. I didn't want it to be too short, but you can make it shorter or longer depending on how long you want your dress to be. The only issue is that the inner lining, it is lined with like a white kind of fabric. The inner lining is really short. So this part is longer, but the lining is shorter. So just depending on, I guess, your body shape and where this sits on you, it could end up flashing people if you're not careful because it is very, very sheer. Look, there it goes again, falling down and revealing the inner lining. This is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to wear this anywhere until I fix that up, but Ugh, aside from the inner lining being too short and the sleeves being too floppy, it is a really, really cute dress, but I, I can't recommend it to you because if you bought it, it would turn up and you would probably have the same problems with it that I'm having. So that's bothering me too much to be able to recommend this to you. If you guys know where I could get a dress of this style that's um, maybe made better, if you know any stores that sell this nice sort of florally drapey type of dress, please let me know down below because I adore this style and the weather's warming up in Australia. So I want to be getting out and wearing things like this more. Damn it. And I also really, really love the color of this one too. This is so pretty. This will be nice in pictures, but I can't recommend that anyone buys it. Now, the last clothing items are two of the same thing. These are dresses and they're identical, except the difference is that I got one in a medium and one in a small, because in the reviews on the website, some people were saying, excellent fit. Other people were saying, you should size up. And other people were saying, you should size down. So I was like, all right, so here's the size small. This dress is glorious and I adore it. The small is feeling kind of tight around my chest just here. I'm not wearing the push-up bra. I actually wouldn't be able to fit into this dress if I was wearing a push-up bra. So I am agreeing with the sizing up. This dress is a beautiful length. I don't know if you can see the bottom of it. Can you see? I hope you can see if my eyesight is too blurry to actually see on the screen there. I'm, I'm hoping you can see this at the bottom. It's a really nice length. I love it so much, oh my gosh, you, I could go upstairs in this and no one will see anything. It's beautiful. This has an inner white lining, so it's not particularly sheer. The sleeves, I suppose that you can wear them down like this as well as up, like I had them before. I personally much prefer them when they're down. I just, I think it's very elegant to have this area all open. I'm gonna swap into the medium, but I'll just, I'll just stand back here and then we'll bring the picture of the medium one across. Okay, so the medium actually gives me room to wear the push-up bra underneath, which kind of changes the whole upper shape of it. Also, the medium is ever so slightly longer. I don't know if you can see the length. Can you see? Again, on or off the shoulder, still looks really pretty either way, but the medium, when I wear it off the shoulder, it falls down on the sleeves very, very low because the elastic, there's more room in the arms. So it's just a little bit confusing for me because the medium now is like way too big around the sleeves. Look, like way, <laughs> way too big around the sleeves, but a good size here. So I don't know, uh, it's a bit of a hard one. I can't really say exactly which size that I would tell you guys to go for. Probably just look at the measurements on the website and see what might suit you better. But either way, whichever size that you go for, this dress is gorgeous and I love it. This is like one of my favorite dresses now. I adore it so much. Now I have a couple more accessories for you. One of which being this cute bag, but I just want to change my top before I put this bag on my shoulder. All right, now don't quote me on this, but I think this bag might be a dupe for a Prada bag. I'm not sure. 
but I'm pretty sure I could just visualize a bag like this with the Prada logo here. Now this came in black and yellow, and of course, because it was buttercup yellow, I had to have it. I've been ever so slowly building up my collection of buttercup yellow things, and I'm so chuffed with this. This is kind of like a nylon bag. It also comes with a longer strap, so you just tie the strap in here with a buckle. So you can have a longer one if you want it to be over the shoulder, but I much prefer the style of this, this you know, little tiny shoulder bag like this. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I think it pairs really nicely with this purple shirt as well. This bag is a really good size. This will fit heaps of things. This will fit my phone, purse, wallet, keys, makeup, everything. It's a great size. It's even got a little inner pocket on the inside too for cards or whatever you want that's valuable. It's got this really nice metal kind of strap too. You're not really supposed to use this strap to place any weight on. This is just a decorative strap. The zip and the hardware of this bag actually feels very high quality. I'm really, really happy with it. This is so cute. Now, while I've got the purple top and the yellow bag on me, I just want to show you these hair clips. This was $4 for this pack of hair clips and I didn't expect this, but they're all metal. They're all like really solid metal. And uh, it's a variety of different pastel colors. Now let's look at the yellow and let's look at the purple because obviously I've got a purple top on and I've got a yellow bag. Now I'm not the best at wearing these. People have given me advice in the past about how to wear them. I think a lot of people have said, oh, you should you know, do something at the back of your head. Uh, like I've mentioned in my hair videos, I'm not very coordinated when it comes to doing anything behind my head. So I'll need to ask someone to help me to do that, to style my hair with these at the back. But um, until then, I guess I can just wear Wear them like this, right? Okay, look, I have no idea what that looks like because I don't have eyes in the side of my head, but I hope that looks cute. <laughs> These clips came in a variety of different shapes too. I liked this shape the best, but uh, you could get them in this color scheme in a bunch of different shapes. These are so nice. I really recommend that you pick some of these up. They're, they're matte and they're really, really soft to touch. Even though they're metal, they're kind of coated with this really soft, rubbery texture. I love them, they're so nice. And finally, we have this bag. Now this is a dupe of the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire. Accessoire. Yeah, the, the first time uh, I went into a Louis Vuitton store trying to get that bag and I was like, hello, do you have the pochette accessories? She was like, the pochette accessoire? No, it's sold out. Couldn't get it anywhere. I tried to find it in Japan, secondhand, for a long time and I finally came across it, but it was like 4,000 or $5,000, so I didn't get it. But uh, anyway, this is a dupe for that bag. So it's like a three part bag and they're all detachable. So you can detach the little coin purse, you can detach the smaller bag, uh, you can just have the, the slightly bigger bag on its own. This also has one of those decorative chains. So the way that you're supposed to wear it, you're meant to wear it kind of cross body like this with the little coin purse at the front there. But if you want, you can take this one off and just use this on its own. They all have little clips here. So you just pop it off like that. So there's the slightly smaller bag, which mm, probably just holds a mobile phone and maybe some lipstick. You can detach the chain and then attach it back just onto the little one. So you can just wear it as a teeny tiny little bag like this. You can just have the larger bag on its own with the big strap. I wouldn't recommend using this tiny little strap for the bigger bag for carrying heavier things because the strap is very cheap. I don't think that it would last very well if you were putting too much weight on it. You can also take the little coin purse and if you are like wearing jeans or something, you could attach it just to your jeans. So there's a whole bunch of different ways to wear this bag, but uh, the traditional way is like the multi-pochette. It's just meant to be worn as a crossbody like that. I do kind of wish that there was a different colored strap. If this had like a pink strap, a different color, I'd like it a lot more. I'd, I don't really like the black strap, but maybe you do. The bag came in different colors too. So look, if something fits your style and you bought this bag, I actually think you'd really like it. It feels really, really nice. So that's it guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any items on YesStyle that you'd like me to get next time, please let me know down below. I actually have a uh, YesStyle Korean hair care product video coming up that I'm so excited about. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Sorry that Archie wasn't here to join us for the majority of the video. He's just, um, just a little bit hormonal at the moment. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!